Hi, hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Bali Krishna. Before you go to the video, please subscribe our YouTube channel and share to your friends and click the bell icon. Okay. In this video, I am explaining the class tenth chapter eight similar triangles basic proportionality theorem tails theorem. Okay. Proportion means what? Any two ratios are equal. One ratio is equal to another ratio. Ratio means what? Comparison. So comparison between any two quantities with the same units is called ratio. So here similar triangle means what? The two triangle having the shape is same but the size is different. Okay, the sides comparison. We can get one constant value. Okay. so that constant value is called scalar factor okay so the ratio of the corresponding sides is constant that constant is called scalar factor so here the it is denoted by k so k is called scalar factor so if k is equal to 1 the triangles are congruent the triangles are congruent if k is less than 1 the triangles are smaller than another triangle if k is greater than 1 the triangle comparison here the triangle one triangle is greater than the another triangle so one triangle is greater than the another triangle here one triangle is less than the another triangle so here k is called what scalar factor scalar factor means what the ratio of the corresponding sides of the given two triangles is constant the constant is called a scalar factor so similar triangle means what in any any two triangle their shape is same and size is different okay so the difference of the sides how you can do that taking the sides ratios so here in this chapter i will explain the basic proportional theorem for another name is tails theorem so here what is the basic proportional theorem statement is if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct point then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio so two sides in distinct point then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio so let us take the triangle abc de is parallel to bc so the de is intersect the ab at the point d and e at the point ac so then the sides ratios are equal that is ad is to db is equal ae is to ec so ad is to db is same as ae is to ec ratio nothing but division that is ad by db is equal ae by ec so here given in triangle abc de is parallel to bc which intersects sides ab and ac at the point d and e respectively rpp means required to prove so what do you want here proof ad is to db is equal ae by ec so ratio nothing but division that's why here write as ad by db is equal ae by ec so any two sides here two ratios are equal that is called proportion ad is to db is equal ae by ec it is called proportion okay so construct join b and e join b e and c d and draw d m is perpendicular to a c so for the side a c d m is a perpendicular perpendicular means a line which is passing through another line meet at one point the angle is formed 90 degrees so d m is perpendicular to a c next e n is perpendicular to a b so here how we can prove how we can prove a d by d b is equal a by a c so by taking the area of the triangles okay here how many sides are there perpendicular two sides what are there ab and ac so for this ab side it is a perpendicular for the ac side it is a perpendicular so here for this total ab side en is a perpendicular for the total side ac dm is a perpendicular so how we can do that so side ab side ab for the side ab so en is perpendicular to ab en is perpendicular to ab so how we can do that by taking area of the triangle 
so here what is the area of the triangle of into base into height so here area of triangle a e d area of triangle a e d for the side a b area of triangle a e d so in this triangle a e d is it is the base next it is the height so that is equal half into base into height that is half into ad into en base ad en so next another triangle the side ab so area of triangle deb deb so in this triangle deb so here what is the height en en is the height so here height means what the object which is occupying from top top to bottom or bottom to top how much place it is occupying that occupying place is called height so here in this triangle deb so this is the height okay so here half into base is db height en so let us take it is equation 1 it is equation 2 so now take the the first equation is divided by second equation the first equation is divided by second what is the first equation area of triangle aed is half into ad into en next area of triangle deb is equal half into db into en okay so here first equation is divided by second equation so area of triangle aed by area of triangle deb is equal half into base ad into en by half into base db into height en any cancellation of of cancel en en cancel so what are the remaining ad by db so here area of triangle aed by area of triangle deb is equal ad by db is equation ad by db it is a equation 3 next same the side ac for this side ac dm is a perpendicular to ac so that is here which triangle we take a d e triangle next e d c triangle so in triangle a d e dm is a height next in a triangle a d c dm is a height okay here the base is a here the base is e c so here side ac the side ac so area of triangle ade is equal half into base ae height is dm for the side ac dm is a perpendicular so here dm is height ae is a base so it is equation 4 next area of triangle adc area of triangle E D C. So here, half into base E C. The side A C D M is a perpendicular. So that means for this triangle D M is a height. So here D M. It is equation five. So take the ratio. Take the ratio four by five. So area of triangle A D E. by area of triangle edc is equal half into ae into dm by half into ec into dm so what are the common half of common dm dm common what are the remaining ae by ec so here area of triangle ade by area of triangle adc is equal a by ec it is equation 6 it is equation 6 here what you do now 
take the sides side ab and side ac take that area of triangle so side ab what is the area of triangle aed and e and deb next side ac the triangle is ade and edc so for this side en is a perpendicular so for this side dm is a perpendicular so here take that sides two sides then take the area of two triangle next we can do, take the divide okay so in third equation and sixth equation what is their area of triangle ad by area of triangle deb is equal to ad by deb next area of triangle ad by area of triangle edc is equal to a by ac so deb next edc so here they given that de is parallel to bc so parallel means what the distance between two lines is same so that means this two lines distance is same distance nothing but height so the distance between two lines is same so for this two triangle it is a common base so same base same height same base same height then the area of triangle is same so here given de is parallel to bc so we know that we know that area of triangle deb is equal to area of triangle edc why between the two parallel lines having two triangles the two triangles having the height is same okay so here we know that de is parallel to bc the two triangles having the height is same so therefore their areas is also same so here area of triangle deb is equal to area of triangle edc so in the place of deb we can write as edc or in the place of edc we can write as deb so here in equation in equation from equation 6 area of triangle ade by area of triangle edc is equal to a by ac so in the place of edc we can write as deb so area of triangle ade by area of triangle ad deb is equal to a by ac so from equation 3 from equation 3 so what the equation 3 area of triangle ad by area of triangle deb is equal to ad by db so ad by db is equal to a by ac so here we know that in a triangle there is heights and there is bases how many heights how many bases but the total area of the triangle is same so in triangle ade en is a height ad is the base dm is the height a is the base so but the total area of triangle is same so that is area of triangle ade is equal area of triangle aed okay so therefore hence proof so you have what the proof if de is parallel to bc then ad by db is equal a by ac how you can prove by using area of the triangle so the side ab and side ac we can take that area of triangle then the ratios so area of triangle form is what half into base into height so for the side ab en is a perpendicular dm is a perpendicular so here in a triangle in the side ab the triangle aed it is the height it is the base so next another triangle deb so in this triangle en is a height base is db so next in the side ac dm is perpendicular to ac the total side ac dm is a perpendicular so in a triangle ade dm is a height a is the base next edc dm is the height base is ec so they take the ratios of the area of triangle side ab and side ac after that so here they given that de is parallel to bc so parallel means the distance between two lines is same the distance between two lines is same so therefore the area of the triangle between the two 
parallel lines is same. So, here DEB is equal EDC. So, here in the place of DEB we can take as EDC or in the place of DE, EDC we can take as DEB. So, from equation 6 area of triangle ADE by area of triangle EDC in the place of EDC I can take as DEB. Why? EDC and EDB are both are the between the two parallel sides, parallel lines. Okay, then their areas are equal. Okay, so area of triangle AD by area of triangle DEB. So here ADE or AED are same. Why? The triangle AD there is two heights and two bases, but the area is same. That's why in the place of ADE I can take as AED. So here area of triangle ADE by area of triangle DEB. So from equation 3, what is the equation 3? Area of triangle AED by area of triangle DEB is equal to AD by DB. So in the place of LHS, you can take as AD by DB is equal to A by EC. So therefore, hence the problem. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and share to your friends. Click the bell icon. Thank you.